Master CDP Studios coming at you with another tutorial inside Studio One. And in today's tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to quickly add, remove automation and how you show or hide it, how you show or hide the events uh, of automation that you've added to your track. Um, a few days ago, I had someone ask why the automation kept showing up. So I'm not sure exactly uh, what the issue he was having whether he wanted to just remove automation altogether or if he just wanted to hide the automation events from the track um, that he had added it to. So real quick, first I'm going to show you how to add and remove it. So as you can see, I already have it here. Uh, so quickly to remove automation, I could either right click the track, remove it that way, or what we can do is if you click this drop down, go to add and remove, and let's say we wanted to add some master volume. Uh, for our automation. So what you're going to do is going to double click it and you can see it there. So you can also remove it by clicking that drop down again and clicking what so you know let's say maybe you have pan volume um, parameters here for your automation. You can then select whichever one. So let's say add really quick. Uh, what do we want to add? Let's just whatever it doesn't matter. We can just add something random here. So if you wanted to remove let's say the width all right so you'll just remove that so that's how you add and remove automation now let's say you have automation on the track but you want to hide it so you simply right click the track and you hide your automation just like that so i hope that helped anyone that was having any issues with the uh, automation just a quick uh, tutorial on that i can probably do another tutorial in depth later on on <clears throat> applying automation to the track but I just wanted to get that out there just because of the question that someone had on one of my videos asking how to remove it not sure if you wanted to remove it all together or just to hide it so hopefully this answers your question so once again this is Chris Prescott with Master CDP Studios if you haven't already please like the video and subscribe to the channel I plan on doing more tutorials in the future here and once again this is Chris Prescott with Master CDP Studios stick around